So should you have a mentor? The answer is absolutely yes, you should have a mentor. So where do you find them? This is really dated, but it's not updated. But if you go search on LinkedIn, mentor, coach, you see the number of people. <laughs> 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 That's a great Millions of people want to be mentor or already mentor. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little bit of a funky story that I have used multiple times in various forums. You may have heard this, but let me explain to you a little bit about what I mean by this kind of thing. So each one of you can't just have one mentor. You need different kinds of mentors in your life. And I want to explain what these mean. So first kind is the Eclavia mentor. So you know this story. So Eclavia and me had Pronacharya as his mentor. Dronacharya for a long time did not really know that Eklavya was his student. So this is the most common kind of mentorship. You can, this, and today this is very Twitter friendly world, uh, all the stuff you can get on blogs. So you can say, okay, Bill Gates is my mentor or whoever else you want to say, Elon Musk. And you can follow him. <laughs> and he doesn't need to know you, that you are not, but you can pick whatever you want from their, their stories and you can make the most of it. So that's one. This is the interesting concept that each one of us in our homes have this panchayat. Yeah? I'm sorry, it's a little bit compelling to say. Uh, being uh, your Eklavya. <laughs> yes, so that's one way to do it. Uh, the second, as I said, you know, that every one of us has this, uh, at our homes, in Hindu homes, we have uh, Dev Panchayat. Where there's a Lakshmi, there's a Vishnu, there's a Ganpati, and mm. some of them. So like this, you should also have like half a dozen mentors yeah. or mentors for different different activities. So you want someone who can help you with maybe, you know, whatever. Business sales, somebody might be doing personal things, somebody may be family. And mentors don't have to necessarily be older than you or somewhat special. They can be your kids also. You see, kids can be very good mentors. If they're fearless, they'll ask you things that other people may not ask that easily. So have, have a group of those. Then when you have this difficult situation, you need to bring in a Narsimha. <laughs> so this Narsimha is a very special kind of a mentor. You know, you had to come for a special purpose, very special skills. And you come at a certain point, between certain times, in certain corners, with certain instruments. You can't carry a Narsimha around all the time. This is very dangerous. So you need to make sure that uh, you had a relationship with Vishnu so that you can get the Narsimha to come when you need to come. So the point of these gods is to make sure they can help you bring a Narsimha or a Krishna depending on the context in which you are trying to have your situation. Right? So sometimes what happens is you have some legal issue or you want to find somebody there will be somebody in your close mentor network who can then introduce you to the right mentor and then you get an opportunity to do different things. So this is the kinds of mentors you have. And if you have to do the Dharma Yudha, then you have to bring the Krishna to the game. So this is where mentors come into this. 